Hello everyone. Um, I've had a couple people ask about this, so I thought I'd shoot a short video and show you exactly how our 3x10 matrix works here on our program. So, as you know, uh, once you become a charter member, you are able to refer other charter members and soon customers to uh, be a part of your team. There'll be a separate matrix for customers, um, but right now let's focus on the char charter members. So right now, if you refer somebody, they become a charter member. Let's focus on the right side of the screen here right now. And you notice the person on the far left, the upper right. That will be the first person you sponsor, okay? Now, somebody could fall below you from spillover or whatever. So let's just say the first person that enters into your organization will assume that spot. Okay, they'll take that position on the far right. The second person who enters into your organization will be directly underneath you or take your middle spot. The third person will be on the far right, okay? Now this is very important to, to understand right here. If you are building out an organization, you wanna take this by the horns, you wanna build it, I would highly, highly recommend that your first three positions are occupied by people who are actually going to work the business with you. I will explain why. As a matrix builds deep, so look at tier number two or line number two or whatever you want to call it, row number two, it goes three, six, nine, instead of three people. The person on your far left represents a third of your organization. The person in the middle represents a third of your organization. And the person to your far right also does the same. So, you don't want to just place anybody in those positions, okay? If you have who you would consider someone who isn't going to do much building, you would put them lower in the organization, hopefully where they may receive spillover, some assistance, who knows? But the people on your front line, as they like to refer to it as, they should be your strongest leaders or builders, okay? Now, some may receive spillover or whatever, and, and, and that happens, but... I mean, spillover is never a horrible thing. But anyway, just make sure if you're building this and you're strategizing, you want to put your three strongest people up front. Okay. So again, because as they build down, that's a third of your organization. So now let's move to tier number two. This is where people can get confused. Your fourth sponsor or the fourth person who enters into your organization will actually fall below the person on the far right, not the far left, the far right. The fifth person will fall in the middle. The sixth person will fall on your far left, okay? Then your seventh person, remember, will also fall on your far left in their middle position. Your eighth person in the middle, okay? So it'll occupy the second person in, or your second chair in the middle. Your third person will fall on your far right, okay? Sorry, your ninth person will fall on your far right. Tenth will also fall on your far right. Eleventh in the middle, twelfth in the far left. So it basically goes like this, and it goes back this way, that way, that way. Left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left, and it auto fills. So a spillover happens or people come in while you're using your link, that's how it feels. <clears throat> now, if somebody else obviously uses his or her link and they sponsor somebody, then you can have runaway legs and all sorts of things. And we have dynamic compression for that. I'll explain how that works in a minute. But this is how it fills in, okay? So very important to know that and understand that. Unlocking levels. So here uh, we see the tiers one through 10 for a total of a potential total of 88,572 members. That's how that works. So let's go to the next slide and I'll explain. So let's go to unlocking tiers here. If you unlock one tier by signing up one charter member, you will receive commission on that charter member and anyone else in that front row. Okay, if your front row is already filled in and you don't have a charter member, so let's say your charter member is your fourth sign up or fifth sign up or whatever, you will receive commission on those three individuals on that front tier and also your charter member, okay? But let's assume you don't. So you, fill, you sign up one charter member, first position fills, three people across. You will receive commission on those three people. If 
row two fills up or starts to fill out, you will not receive commission on those nine, any of those nine individuals until you basically sponsor another charter member. So once you sponsor charter member number two, you will be able to receive commission on tiers one and two. So it's three people and nine people, a total of 12 as they fill in. Charter member three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, all the way down the line. You do not have to fill in a complete row to receive commission. For example, if you have one person on your second tier, but you have unlocked two tiers by sponsoring two charter members, you will receive everyone on your first tier and a commission from everyone on your second tier. You do not have to fill in an entire tier to receive commission. Okay, so don't worry about that. That's how that works, okay? So very important to understand, this is just a very short tutorial on how this works. Hopefully that answers some questions that are out there. I just wanna do whatever I can do to help everybody completely understand this program. Um, as far as uh, $25 per card on customers, charter members, take a look at the composition plan uh, in our file section. If you haven't read the pinned post, read the pinned post and you can see everything that's pertinent, everything that's important to this page. It's all in the pin post. You'll, you'll have links to everything. You have links to the uh, file section on there. You can see everything. Okay, so anyway, this is how it works, guys. So hopefully this helps. We will see you next time.